guess you really don't know anything. So it's been eight years since Fantasy Star Online 2 came out in Japan. <laughs> now it's finally in the US. That being said, Fantasy Star Online's map was always a little bit much. And for new people to the series, here's a little cap. Alright, let's do this. So if you just press select and go to the bottom, it gives you a bigger overlay so you can actually see what's going on and you can find people a lot easier. It's definitely a little bit less complex than it used to be, but here's your base quest counter, and here's all your intro tutorial missions. Kofi is basically just getting your subclass, your mag, and your auxiliary. And there's a lot more to go into these three individual things, but right now I'm going to leave them as is. Okay, so the next thing is this guy, the guy with the blue thing above his head. Those are client orders. And there are multiple different types of client orders. This guy right in front of me, he has the true baseline tutorial missions. But once you get past him and Coffee's missions, you want to talk to these guys on the sides. They're going to be your most important source for client orders after level 10. There's also a few other individual AIs that you have to talk to, like this guy right here for your mag quest, and you initially get that from Coffee. But mags are basically a little support system. There's show. also this alliance counter. And an alliance counter is basically your clan. And I have a small alliance right now, but all these missions can help it rank up pretty efficiently. Like this guy right here is basically where you level up your skills. You can learn techniques, but this is where you're going to really truly level up your character. If you don't seem to notice, there's a lot of tutorial in this game, but there's also a lot that they don't tell you. And that's unfortunately very infamous for this game series. Though, when you figure out exactly what you're doing and exactly where you're going, you're pretty set. There's also client orders up top, but that's more for a later game. So, we're gonna go to the shopping plaza. One of the key things about here, and this is about item organization now, but if your inventory is truly full, just send things to storage. You can always retrieve, send, or sell directly from storage, which is incredibly convenient. Generally, this individual is where you get your appraisals and you can look at your storage really quick, but these two are going to be the main focus of your shopping. And everything over here is really just your base item, your base armor, and honestly, you'll find better armor while out on missions. Speaking of that, this is where you enhance and improve any gear. You can also do a little bit more detailed things, like change photon color, stuff like that, but that's a little bit out of our league. Kind of the same with the pet counter just next door. There's just not much you can do with it until you get candies and more pets. And you can also do these things at multiple little modems around the area, as well as in your little private lobby before you get to a mission. Alright, and here's the salon. This is where you can alter your character in any way, and also get your auxiliary. Okay, and now we're uh, back on the topic of client orders. So there's a whole bunch of people in this area that you can actually talk to to get client orders, but there are two that are very important. This girl over here is going to have your base missions, as well as minerals to collect, while this other person is directly Hello. connected to Frank's Cafe. And you can do all of your cooking and all of your ingredients finding through her. But if you really want to go into it, we're going to head into Franco's Cafe. This is where some of the more difficult client orders come in. Like I said, experience is experience, but... All in all, you're kind of just harvesting or fishing in certain specific areas to find specific items and certain recipes to do certain things to make a fucking salad. But again, you get experience for it. And if you select well, a lot of these client orders give you a shit ton of XP. But even if you don't do these client orders, try to remember to do your daily and weeklies when you first hop on. Those client orders are going to be beneficial no matter what level you are. Like these ones I pushed off until it was about level 30 or 35. That's when I've gotten around to every level and I've harvested everything that I've really needed. But this is where you cook, and the rest of the counters are your basic things that I've already went over. Uh, except for this, if you go back to your gateway, you can do base explorations, and these are available at every single area. Alright, well, off to the casino. Alright, bow. So you kind of have to play the game a little bit first before you jump into the casino, but you get casino coin passes. You take those and you take those to a station to exchange them. And that's what you can actually spend on your initial games inside of the casino. You can also spend them on items, which is highly recommended. 
If you look through the selection yourself, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. There are X cubes and weapon ornaments and gives you a certain line of weapons and items, but the casino really gives you a very favorable line of stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, there are multiple things that confuse me about this game, and the main reason I'm making this video is because of this. So, you just basically exchange your, your coin exchange into these, and then you get your coins, which you can therefore come down here and you can spend in the casino. And the casino has a very basic variety of games, except for one or two. Um, the majority of them are card run games, or blackjack, or slots, but the very middle one is more of a target shooting game. It's pretty damn fun though, I've definitely lost a lot of time to it. Yeah, okay, Jesus. If you're also new to the game genre, this menu can be quite overwhelming. If it is a lot and you don't really want to tackle the whole thing at once, I would just wait until you get your mag, or maybe some pets under your belt first. Again, it looks like a lot, but you won't really have to select too many things, even later on in the game. Right now, I'm only ever in the menu just to feed my mag, or send things to the storage. Maybe the occasional party disband, or that's about it. Well, as soon as I hit level cap, I'm gonna make another video. If you guys are lost, or have any problems with the game, let me know. Maybe I can move forward and make a video about it. Till then, enjoy. Yeah.